Then said Jesus to them again. Did you notice that? He's telling them again. He says, Peace be unto you, as my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And I'll just kind of piggyback on some things Brother Curtis said tonight. Uh, I want to talk to you about the purpose of life. The purpose of life. Uh, Jesus said, He sent His disciples, His followers into the world for the same purpose why He was sent into the world. Amen. Now, why was Jesus sent in the world? John 3, 19. Or I'm sorry, John 3, 17. Jesus came not into the world. Let, let's just look at it. Yeah. Turn, turn, turn over to John uh, 3, 17. John 3, 17. Amen. Let's see why Jesus came into the world. So the reason why Jesus came into the world is the reason why Jesus is sending us into the world. John chapter 3, verse 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. So Jesus Amen. came to seek and save that which is lost. Yes. That's right. And that's why he has sent us into the world. He, hey, he didn't just save us to sit, soak, and sour. He saved us to go out and save somebody else. Amen. Amen. The Bible says if our gospel be hid, it yes. is hid to them that are lost. That's right. He's committed right. unto us the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Everybody in here is a preacher, whether you realize it or not. Now, not everybody's a pastor, right. but everybody in here is a preacher. Amen. Moses Amen. said, would to God and all, yes. would, would that all God's people were prophets. Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 And that's not just the men either. Right. You know, I've gone to a lot of independent fundamental Baptist churches over the years, and I just see men soul winning and not a lot of ladies. A lot of ladies sometimes don't think they're they're supposed to be preachers, but every creature needs yes. a preacher. Amen. 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 And if you look at Acts Amen. chapter 2, Amen. did you know there was some yes. Holy Ghost filled handmaids out yeah. getting it done for Jesus Christ in Acts yes. chapter 2? There were Amen. women present, right. women out souling, and women going door to door, house Amen. to house, preaching yes. the gospel. Amen. Uh, Amen. The Bible refers to them as prophetesses. Yes. Uh, just. A, pro a prophet is just somebody who proclaims the gospel, proclaims God's word. And women make mighty good prophetesses. Not in church, obviously, not behind a pulpit, not a pastor, yeah. but out on the street, preaching door to door, house to house. Amen. All right. uh, I want to talk to you about the purpose of life here. Our purpose is the same. Our purpose for life is the same purpose Jesus had. Uh, now, it says here in John 20, 21, then said Jesus to them again, so he's telling him the second time. Let's see the first time he told him. Turn over to John chapter 17. John 17 verse 18. He's telling them. Uh, let's see the first time he was telling them their purpose. John chapter 17 verse 18. As thou hast sent me into the world, yeah, even yeah, so yeah. have I also sent them into the world. Yes. Right. So many people lack a purpose in life. Amen. So many people lack the fulfillment right. because they're not doing God's purpose. Amen. Amen. Now, God's purpose is that we preach the gospel. God's purpose is that we get other people saved. And you know, if you do God's purpose in life, it brings a fulfillment. Yes. Right. It will give you a peace that passes Amen. all understanding, a certain yeah, fulfillment that comes from knowing you're doing what God wanted you to do. Right. Amen. Amen. I mean, did, he didn't just save us before we, so we could look pretty and look yes. cute and, <laughs> yeah. you know, take up 18 inches on a church pew. That's right. That's not why he saved us. He Amen. saved us to send us out. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Uh, now, the, fulfilling your purpose in life will give you fulfillment. Now, I'm going to give you some other things that if you figure out what this purpose of life thing, what it'll do for you. It'll do a lot for you if you just figure out what God's purpose is for your life. Because uh, it'll give you a fulfillment, but not on that, it'll keep you free of drugs. Yes. Keep you free of drugs. Now, a lot of people do drugs because of their mind. It's a like right. mind issue. Right. They struggle with their yeah. mind. They struggle with their thoughts. Right. Jesus said, commit, or the Bible says, commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts Amen. shall be established. You want to stay right. off drugs? Yeah. Become a soul winner. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, ladies, you want to dump your uh, psychotropic depression medicine, your Prozac, and your stuff out because yeah. you're depressed. You want to dump all that stuff out and get rid of it? Amen. Uh, commit your works to the Lord. Have your thoughts established. Amen. 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 You can dump all that yeah. stuff away. You won't need sister here. One sister was praising the Lord about not having to be on pills. Uh, hey, 
Amen. I'm not saying, I don't know, I, I know a lot of ladies are good, but I mean, like, I, one time I seen, like, I heard a preacher, like, 40% of women are on these psychotropic drugs because yeah. of depression. Yeah. yeah. Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Yeah. That's Amen. Right. One of the best things in the world I can do is tell somebody about Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll give you fulfillment. It'll keep you free of drugs. And it'll help you finances. Yes, Did you know if you're a soul winner, it'll help you finances? Do you remember when Jesus needed some money to pay his taxes? He told his disciples, go fishing. And he caught a fish and it had a gold coin in its mouth. Yeah. You know why? Jesus is trying to tell us something. He takes care of soul winners. Amen. I've never seen a soul winner not be able to pay his bills. Never. Amen. Hey, you go out fishing, you may catch a fish with some gold in his yeah. mouth. Amen. Yeah. I think God's trying to tell us if you're fishing, he's going to take care of you financially. Amen. 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 He's going to give you fulfillment. He's going to keep you free of drugs. He's going to bless your finances. Amen. And uh, you know another thing about uh, fishing? You know another thing about fulfilling God's purpose for your life? is you'll, 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 you'll maintain your first love. That's yeah. right. Now I, I've been in this thing for a right good while now, not quite as long as your preacher, but I, you know, I've been, I've been living for the Lord and trying to serve the Lord for about. Where's Bonnie? Okay, I've been trying to serve the Lord for about twenty years now. You know, been in church, and uh, you know, it's a roller coaster sometimes. Sure it is. Sometimes your love gets a little, little bit uh, thin. Sometimes. You, you get a little bit cold. Sometimes you get a little bit dry. Sometimes you get a little bit humdrum and a little dusty. And uh, you're lacking some fire, lacking that zeal that you once used to have. You know what's good for that? So winning. You know why? Because Jesus said, he said, when you lose your first works, remember the church, uh, which church was it in uh, Revelation? Was it three? There was a church in Revelation 3, it was a Thyatira, I can't remember, that lost their first love. You know what Jesus told them to do? He said, go do your first works. He Amen. said, if you do your first works, your first love will come back. Amen. Well, what's the first works anybody ever did in the Bible? First thing Jesus did when he showed up on the scene was preach the gospel. First thing John the Baptist did when he showed up on the scene was preach yeah. the gospel. First thing Andrew and Simon, Simon Peter did when he got saved was preach the gospel. Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. That's the First Baptist Church right there. Amen. Uh, first Baptist Church right there when uh, Simon Peter and Jesus told Simon Peter and Andrew, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. I'm talking to you about the purpose of life, soul winning. It'll give you fulfillment. It'll keep you free of drugs. It'll help your finances. It'll help you maintain your first love. And not only that, but it'll keep you fired up. Amen? Yes. Amen. Yeah. It'll keep you fired up. Uh, now, <clears throat> one of the best things I can do, one of the most therapeutic things I can do in my life is open my mouth and tell somebody about Jesus. Amen? Amen. It's the most therapeutic thing I can do to, to stay right. fired up. Uh, and like Brother Curtis said, no fish and no following. A lot of believers out there, a lot of people saved. A lot of, lot of believers, a lot of people saved going to heaven, but their problem is they're not taking anybody with them. Right, man. Amen. They're going by themselves. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I want to give you a little challenge. Every day, everywhere, everyone. Amen. My pastor gave me that challenge years ago. Every day, everywhere, everyone. Every day, everywhere, everyone. I keep some of these little cards on me. I, I like business cards because I keep them in my wallet, and sometimes I don't have a pocket in my shirt, and I keep these things on me. And, uh, you know, I try to give them out to bank tellers. I try to give them out to the in-and-out cashier, in-and-out drive through clerk, H-E-B. You know, I give these things out all over, and I tell them, you know, we got a, we got a, a video link for Directions to Heaven. So if I don't have time to actually share the gospel with them, I can encourage them to watch the video. Hey, man, I'd like to invite you to our church sometime. But, but more importantly than that, man, there's a little video link on the back to tell you how you can know for sure you're going to have it. It's called Direction to Heaven. Maybe you can watch that video. You have a nice day, man. And let me tell you, what a, I wish I'd learned this a long time ago, bro. I, I wish I'd learned this. I'm going to tell you what, something that will give you boldness to be a soul winner. I'm going to tell you something that will give you boldness. Pray for boldness. You got to pray for boldness, right. first of all. Yes, sir. But I'm going to tell you another thing that will help you. Did you know that God never one time commanded us to win souls? Right. He said, he that win of souls is wise. Right. That right. means it takes wisdom. It takes a little skill. Yeah. It takes a little learning. It takes a little practice to be able to reel somebody in. Man. But 
God never commanded us to win souls. He commanded us to warm souls. He commanded us to fish. He commanded us to just throw it out there and see if there's any takers. That gives me a lot of confidence knowing I don't have to force nothing on anybody who doesn't want it. All I have to do is throw it out there and see if there's any takers. Uh, riding in a, riding in a, a, a truck with, with a coworker. Uh, you know, I'm a pastor, but I work a full-time job riding with one of my coworkers. Amen. If I had to force something on him and shove something down his throat, it would be a real uncomfortable yes. situation. Right, right. Yeah. But you know what? All I have to do is just throw it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, sir, let me ask you a question. It's my personal life goal to ask everybody I come in contact with, everybody that God makes me have a head-on, one-on-one collision with. It's my personal life goal to ask everybody I can this question. And that is, buddy, God forbid it. But if you die today, are you 100% sure you'd be going to heaven? Well, no, I'm really not. Well, would you like me? Yeah. Yeah. Would you be interested in me? Would you mind if I showed you or quoted you some verses? No, not really. That's okay. No problem. My job's done. Yeah, man. Right. <laughs> Jesus said, if they receive you, yeah. Yeah. and if they don't, knock the dust yeah. off your feet. Yeah. Right. Right. Hey, right. Jesus was a perfect gentleman. I'm all about being a gentleman. All right. I want to do is throw it out there, see if there's any takers. Right. And I uh, do the same thing at a door. Man, would you be interested? Would you like for me to? Yeah. And uh, I've noticed that when you have that attitude, even if they're not receptive, even if they don't want it, okay, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we do have a video if you're ever interested. You can watch it on our website. It's called Directions to Heaven. But do you mind if I leave you with just one verse? Can I just quote for you one verse? And I'll do that at doors. I'll do that, uh, you know, with coworkers and stuff. And, um, they'll allow, oftentimes, they'll allow me to leave them with one verse. And you just plant that seed. And plant that seed in the heart. And God will actually come and water that thing. But that gives me boldness. That gives me confidence knowing I don't have to shove anything down anybody's throat. Amen. All I got to do is throw it out there. If they want it, great. If they don't, Hell, oh, hey, blood's off my hands. God, I did my job, Amen. Lord. Uh, I'm talking to you about purpose of life. We'll give you fulfillment. We'll, we'll keep you free of drugs. We'll help your finances. It'll, it'll keep you fired up. It'll help your first love. Amen. I mean, yeah. to me, it answers all life problems. Yeah. Amen. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate Amen. it. Good, good job. Amen.